Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we'll be building the Santa Fe EMD SD24. Now this is another diesel locomotive, and it's the predecessor to the SD26 that I have a tutorial on before. And here is a 360 view of it, and it's in the zebra stripe color scheme. You can see the black and white stripes, and also one thing about this uh, is that it has like a mono cab window in the front. There's no pillar in the middle, usually there is. But for the early models, there isn't, so that's, I guess, like one of the unique things about it. Um, but yeah, this is actually a commission again by Zachary Plant, so thanks to him for making this video possible. Now let's get started on the build. Alright, to get started, we're going to make the plow, so let's go down here. And let's add another brick stairs in the middle. Quartz stairs on the sides. And another brick stairs facing inwards on either side looks like this and on top in the middle we're going to add a quartz block black concrete on the sides and upside down quartz stairs on the sides now in the middle we want to have um, black concrete right behind it and we're going to make this 26 blocks long so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 23, 24, 25, 26. After that, we're going to do the same thing that we did in the front to the back. Just add in a quartz block here, black concrete on the sides, and then upside down, quartz stairs on the sides. Down below in the middle, a quartz <laughs> or another brick stairs, and then quartz stairs either side of it, and then another brick stairs on the outer edge, just facing inwards. And um, then we're going to add the coupling, which is a dark oak slab, trip wire hooks on either side. And let's add a dark oak trap door above that part right there. And go we're going to do the same thing in the front. Just add the slab here, trip wire hooks, and this gangway plank. Now underneath, there's going to be dark oak fence gate underneath the trip wire hooks, and we're going to open them up both sides. And in the middle on top, we're going to add another brick slab, quartz slab on either side, and let's also add in another brick fence on the sides, and then two in the front of that quartz. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, symmetrical so far. So in the middle, another brick slab, quartz slab on the sides. Let's add in these nether brick fences, just the same that we did in the front. So it looks like this, and also don't forget to add in dark oak fence gate underneath the shapar hooks and open them up. All right, looking good so far. And now, um, all right, then we're gonna go to the front and add three more black concretes to the side, both sides. Then we're gonna add another brick wall, skip a block, two nether brick walls, skip a block, another nether brick wall, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to fill in the middle with black concrete, like so. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just add in three black concretes either side. Another brick wall here. Skip a block two. Skip a block one. And just fill in the middle parts of black concrete. And same thing on the other side. Now this is going to be the foundation for where the bogey is. Alright, then we're going to go to the front, go underneath in the middle, add black concrete. And then we'll add another brick slabs. So you want to make like these steps go up like that. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, let's add black concrete in the middle. Then we're going to go to the other end, do the same thing, add black concrete down there. Another brick slab steps on both sides and then a black concrete block right here in the middle on top. So then on the bottom we're going to add gray terracotta for the wheels and we're going to make it 1.5 blocks long so add a dark oak stairs right behind it. And we're going to skip a block, add another pair of wheels, skip a block, another pair of wheels like that. It's going to be a little tricky at hopper's sides of all the wheels and then we'll add in another brick block in between the stairs and another brick slab 
uh, right after it and do the same thing to like all three wheels. Except the last wheel is just going to be one another brick block like that, which is the traction motor. Now we're going to add uh, dark oak fence gates in between everything, in front of the stairs and inside as well. And this last stairs as well, and then this side. Just the same thing, like that. And then on top, we also need to add in an upside down, uh, nether brick stairs, right side up, facing the back. And then we'll add a slab and repeat the two stairs so that we have that cover for that wheel and do the same thing to the last one without a slab. So we have these three lumps. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just upside down stairs, regular stairs, slab, and keep on doing it to reach this back section. Alright, so it looks like this, and this is pretty much it for the bogey design. We're going to do the same thing in the back, and ideally I would just like copy and paste it, but I know there's some people out there who like still can't follow along, so I'll have to like build it by hand, so we're going to place uh, the Great Terracotta, Dark Oak Stairs again, skip a block, another pair in the back, and then skip a block, another pair here. Or maybe it's just like more convenient to make me go over this again. Uh, and then we'll add in hoppers to sides of all the wheels, both sides, and let's add in the traction motor inside, which is another brick block, another brick slab, another brick block, another brick slab, and then another brick block. Then dark oak fence gates in between everything, like that. Same thing over here. And last step, we need to add in another brick stairs. Say down here, right side up, slab, two more stairs, slab, two more stairs. Other side, same thing, upside down, right side up, slab, and repeat the same thing so that we have like this nice shape. Now this is it for the bogey. Now we're going to add the fuel tank in the middle. So we're going to make this top section five blocks wide with uh, black concrete. So extend it out all the way across. And then the bottom row, let's add in three blocks wide of black concrete on either end of it. And another brick stairs on the sides. Now you can Fill in the middle part, it's optional. I know sometimes in animations I use like locomotives, they have holes in the bottom of uh, my fuel tanks and that is a little bit annoying. Uh, but this is not for an animation yet, so I'm not going to get worried about that. Alright, so this is pretty much it for the base, very nice so far. Now let's work on the hood. So there's going to be a quartz slab or a quartz block on top, black concrete. Go on the other side and try to make this checkerboard pattern, quartz on the bottom, black concrete, and then quartz again. And the sides, uh, after this, we're gonna make, um, how are we gonna do this, like a three by three, black concrete. And then we'll fill in the middle part with black concrete like that. All right, and then Right here on the sides, there's going to be another brick slab. And we'll add that right around here on top of that stairs. And then a quartz block, black concrete, quartz, black concrete, quartz again, then black concrete. And same thing on the other side. So I guess you can just place the black concretes first. And then the quartz. Don't forget to add in that slab in the front. All right, and then we're going to um, add in two nether brick slabs here. Uh, black concrete, quartz, black concrete. And then the other side, same thing. Two nether brick slabs, black concrete, and quartz in the middle. All right, and then the last layer on top, we're going to add Quartz here, quartz here, black concrete in the middle. Same thing. 
All right, then in the middle here, we're going to add three blocks wide black concrete. And on top, we're going to add this, um, what is this, light gray glass block, three blocks wide in the middle. And on the side, we're going to add it right above that black concrete. Then we're going to add black concretes right above these quartz blocks. And let's make a three by three in the middle. And let's add one sticking down the front. All right, next, let's add in three nether brick slabs on either side for the roof. And let's add a stone button right here in the middle. Stone button in front of these uh, courts. And then we also need to add in this iron trap door to the side. Now this is the Santa Fe logo. And we need to make this upright. So actually Hansa told me how to do this because I couldn't get this quite right, so basically what you need to do, get a redstone, block a redstone. And I'm going to place it inside, and then you want to have uh, redstone dust, and that should open, but I don't know why it's opening. Oh, wait. And then we'll add a redstone dust, and then it should open on both sides. All right, now we need to cover that up, so we're gonna take a uh, black carpet and add a three by three on top of this hood. All right, and then in the front, let's add in black stained glass pane right here, in that corner. And we'll add uh, this like white glass pane on the sides. And usually I would use like a sign for that, but I think for this model, I'm just going to use pins. All right, so next on top, we're going to add a lever right here. Just make it face back. And let's add in some banners that look like this. So let's go to our loom. I'm going to use a gray banner. Uh, let's add in a black dye or, yeah, black dye border around the whole thing. Put it back in and add it across the bottom half like that. And we're going to take out white dye, put it back in, and add a row on the bottom again. So it looks like this when you place it. I'm going to place that in the front of the cab and the back of the cab for the doors. All right, cool. All right, so next, let's work a little bit on the back section. So we're going to take black concrete and let's add in four more on top of this. So one, two, three, four. The sides, we're going to add a quartz block. Um, don't have the quartz, so I'm going to grab it. The quartz block, make it look a chevron shape. And then black concrete on top, quartz again, and then two black concretes on top on either side. Like so. Then we're going to add in bedrocks, and this is going to be six blocks long on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then we're going to add black concrete all the way in the middle. Connect that towards the front. All right, then in the front of that, let's add in, so it's like a three blocks wide across. You know what, we'll just fill it in all the way. And in reality, this is this body of like the SD24, uh, it's actually a little, like, a little bit lower, but you know, it's Minecraft. You can't get everything exactly right. So this is what we have because of our limitations. Anyways, next, uh, let's add in um, this nether brick stairs upside down. Just a block away from that bedrock, and I'm going to make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. And let's add a dark oak stairs in the front, facing the front. Same thing on the other side, just four stairs. And then one dark oak stairs. And I'm going to add black carpet above it, as well as the other side and this bedrock as well. Then we'll add in this daylight detector. So there'll be two of them here, skip one, add one, and then two more here. 
and then skip two, add one, skip one, add one. I'm going to make it all blue because blue looks a lot better than yellow. And now we can add in uh, the dark oak buttons. Two in the back here and then on four corners of these middle two fans like that. And then in the front we need to add in these air reservoir tanks. So that's going to be two by three dark oak uh, trap door right behind the cab area. And then on this side we'll add in a dark oak fence gate like that. And let's add in another brick slab in the middle after the trap doors. All right, so now what we're gonna do, hmm, let's add in iron trap door all the way from the front all the way to the back. Cross like this, and this is like a thin white stripe. Same thing on the other side. All right, and we don't wanna go inside the cab yet. All right, and then we'll add black concrete on the inside part of these iron trap doors because they do need a black background, so there's not like a hole. All right, so then we'll add in a stone button to the side of this black concrete in that corner. Same thing on the other side. All right, then what is next? I guess we'll add in the bottom row, black concrete inside part right here all the way across sorry it's even without shaders like black concrete's sort of hard to see so i hope <laughs> i hope you guys can see what i'm doing or at least understand what i'm doing i'm just adding in the inner wall all right so let's add in this striped um black and white at the very bottom so we take a quartz slab, add it right above the stairs, and add it every other block. And this helps like divide up the space so you can see it better because it has more contrast. And then we're gonna add another brick slab in between. And I wonder how this locomotive will look like in console edition because I know, I think in console like some people they're complaining that um, nether brick is actually like reddish color. So I don't know about that. Uh, but I use Java Edition, so it doesn't really apply to me. Then we'll add in another brick slabs in between. And you know what? In 1.16, I heard that they're coming out with like this new uh, black slab. So you guys can use that in the future if you're watching that when it comes out. That might be better, or maybe just leave it alone like this. All right, so next, uh, let's add in... Um, Oh yeah, on this side is actually a little bit different. Uh, on this side there's like a little hole, so we gotta replace this quartz with a quartz stairs upside down and then another brick stairs at the bottom. And the inside part is just black concrete, so let's fill that in. Then we're gonna add in uh, two uh, black wall blocks in the front of both sides. All right, so now let's add in this Santa Fe logo. All right, so right here, just add a um, black concrete column here. Then we're gonna make a C shape with white concrete. Skip a block of space, make a B shape or thumbs up shape. And then we're gonna make a T shape in the middle. See, it's a T. And then we have a backward C shape here. And you could delete these iron trap doors so you can fit it. So that's pretty much it for the Santa Fe logo. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And you want to line it up so it's pretty much the same. So on this side, uh, what we're going to do is make a C shape like this. And then we'll skip a block and add a thumbs up shape. And then a T shape. And then another backward C shape here. All right, so that should be it for the Santa Fe logo. And we're gonna fill in the middle spaces with black concrete. Of course, you can't fill in the middle parts where the iron trap door is, but you can fill in the rest. And let's fill it up all the way towards the cab. 
All right, and then we'll leave that top section alone. Let's do the other side, just fill it in. All of these spaces in between. And then all the way towards the front. A little hard for me to see, but I'm gonna make the video brightness bright in the future when I upload this. Then we'll also fill in that side of the cabin. So it's like a black concrete wall. All right, so we have this so far, and there's actually like a little vents on this side. So let's add that uh, black wall here underneath that fence gates. Give a block, another one here, and we'll go down and make a U shape of black wall. It's really hard to see from my perspective, but just make that U shape like that, and then we'll add in these two black stained glass panes right here in the middle. Just a little box that sticks out. Ideally it will be in the middle of that U, but that's not really possible. The other side there's going to be this giant like 2x4 black wall right underneath this trap door. So let's add that. And it looks like this. Really cool. So then on the side we're going to add in this uh, dark oaks uh, sign right there both sides right underneath that cab window and then we'll add in dark oak buttons right down here just have three of them spaced apart the other side's gonna be uh, a little bit different we're gonna add uh, birch buttons in front of the quartz and dark oak in front of the black concrete all right then I guess we can work on, actually, never mind. We need to add a dark oak bun just above that hood. All right, so now I think we can add in the railings. So uh, we're gonna add another brick fence here, two blocks tall. And skip a block, add another one. Keep on doing that till we reach the cab. And I think the other side's the same thing. And then once we get up to the cab here, we need to go daggling up. Just so it connects, same thing on the other side. Add in this nether brick. It apparently it lines up with like the quartz. And then we'll add in dark oak fence gates in between. I really wish there was like nether brick fence gates. Because then I'll be at least the same color. <laughs> but this is the best we've got. So we're going to add dark oak fence gates in between. Connect them all together in it maybe little getting you okay I'm really horrible at this so if you're like horrible at this like me you can just do this and it's a lot faster to do but you just have to remove these blocks afterwards and then the other side same thing dark oak fence gates all the way across and then we'll de delete them oh put that back all right so after we do that, we need to add in the fences in the front. So there's going to be uh, these two nether brick fences here. Dangling up, another two, and then dark oak fence gate here. And same thing on the other side. I keep on deleting stuff by accident. So two nether brick fences, two more here, and then dark oak fence gate right there. I swear I saw I saw someone was in there. Must be my imagination. Oh, it's just like a drop carpet. My bad. Alright, and then we're gonna add in so it looks like that on both sides. Very nice. Alright, so what else is missing from this? We're gonna go to the back and we need to add in those two ladders. Along with this light in the middle, so just add ladders, both sides, three blocks tall. Um, dark oak buttons right here in the middle, two of them, as well as a black stained glass pane in the middle of that right there. All right, so yeah, I think we're pretty much done, but just in case we're going to get like a 360 view of it. Oh yeah, we need to add in this acacia button right here to the fuel tank. Just skip two blocks away from the back and add that acacia button. Same thing on the other side. Alright, so let me see if anything else needs work. Um, oh yeah, we also do need to add in 
this nether brick slab right above that black concrete uh, corner on both sides like that. Alright, so that is pretty much it on how to build the Santa Fe EMD SD24 in the Zebra Stripe Color Scheme. Now, thanks to Zachary Plant for making this video possible and commissioning the build. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below because it helps the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.